Bruce and Amity are pretty much one of the greatest couples in animation. From their adorable moments, amazing chemistry, and strong development. What? Come on. You should know I always go for the chaotic route. Not only that, but the fact that they're a same-sex couple who have such a major presence in a mainstream show is such a massive step forward for LGBT representation in animation. And since it's Pride Month, what better time is there to present a list of the top 5 best womany moments in the Owl House. Number 5, The Cheek Kiss from Through the Rocking Grass Ruins. The Owl House wasted no time in making the crush between Woods and Amity mutual early into Season 2. Above being awkward teenagers, just the mere thought of expressing their feelings to each other makes them extremely nervous, resulting in numerous moments of them getting flustered around each other and brushing in pure gay panic. Hmm? So, we'll be super sneaky and quiet. Got it. Now, anyone who has consumed media for long enough probably thought that this was going to go on for a while. However, after Lou's indirectly revealed to Amity that she reciprocates her feelings for her, Amity finally works up the courage to make a move by giving Lou a kiss on the cheek. Don't worry. You always have a way of sneaking into people's hearts. This moment instantly became iconic. Not only because it was impactful to get this sort of affection between two main characters of the same sex in a Disney cartoon, but also because no one was expecting such a massive step forward in the relationship between Luz and Amity so soon, much less a kiss. I adore the different reactions to this kiss, from Amity panicking and rushing back inside her house, too nervous to wait for Luz's reaction, to Luz not saying anything, but that exhale along with her collapsing to the ground, saying it all. And finally, Ed and M watching the whole thing from a Bob and being supportive of their youngest sister. Overall, this was a special moment in Luz and Amity's relationship, as it sets the stage for the two of them to finally ask each other out. Plus, the kiss itself was incredibly adorable. Number 4, opening up to Amity, Swatch Ritual, from Reaching Out. One of the best Owl House episodes also has one of the most impactful moments in the relationship between Luz and Amity. Throughout this episode, Luz has been followed by a secret she's been keeping from everyone, even to the point of lying to Amity. Initially, Amity was extremely hurt by what Luz did, but later in the episode when she asks her what's going on, Luz finally opens up about how it's the anniversary of her father's death, and that normally, she and her mom would do a ritual involving getting flowers and visiting his grave. But of course, Luz is unable to be there for her mom this time, causing her to finally break down after suppressing her emotions the entire day. But despite all of this, Luz apologizes to Amity for all the trouble she caused to her by lying. But once she learns the truth, Amity is completely understanding and empathetic towards Luz. And from there, wants to help her find a way to do the ritual. I don't know what rituals you have in the human realm, but... I'll help you pick some flowers, and we can do something here! The final scene of the episode is one of the most emotional moments of the entire show, where the two of them find a way to do the ritual, with Luz creating some flowers with a plant glip, and Amity making a balloon with our abomination magic, and using it to send the flowers floating away, as Luz and Amity watch while holding hands, making for a beautiful and touching ending. Do you think they'll reach the human realm? Probably doesn't work that way, but it's a nice thought, right? Luz sharing something this personal to her with Amity, and the two of them partaking in the ritual together, makes their relationship stronger and closer, plus making this one of the most important moments for Lumity in the series. Number 3, Asking Each Other Out, from Knock Knock Knocking on Hootie's Door. So a few episodes after Amity kissed her on the cheek, we see that Luz wants to ask her out. However, she gets anxiety over coming across as cheesy. Asking her out should be breathtaking, emotional. And real! Everyone back home said I was cheesy. Can't let Amity think the same. And Hoodie putting her and Amity on a tunnel of love wide didn't help matters. Oh no, I'm gonna be made fun of again. However, afterwards, there's a great interaction between Luz and Ida, where Luz admits her feelings for Amity. Ida then encourages Luz to ask Amity out, which is incredibly touching. She also gives her a great piece of advice. That being, the confession doesn't need to be perfect. As throughout the episode, Luz had been so desperate to not come across as corny, that Amity ends up misinterpreting her actions as signs that she doesn't reciprocate her feelings. Oh, get out of your hair. Hey, Amity, wait! This wasn't me, this is all... Hootie's stupid idea. Yeah, this was stupid. I mean, us? Dating? 
That's stupid, right? Instead of overthinking about the situation and worrying about how to make it perfect, you sometimes just have to take a leap of faith. The scene where Ruth and Emily finally ask each other out is awkward, but in the right way. It was so adorable and hilarious when Ruth tried to get ready to ask Emily out, only for Emily to blurt it out before Ruth had the chance to do so. Again, being awkward in a cute way. But then finally, Ruth asks Emily out, and of course she says yes. Amity Blight, do you want to go out with me? Yes! <laughs> okay! Although there was still an awkward silence, as the two of them hold hands and admit to still be nervous. Which was a nice final touch. This was a perfect scene that was made all the more impactful by the fact that Remedy became canon so early into season 2. As for the majority of the time, gay couples in kids cartoons don't get together until the finale. So Ruth and Amity becoming official girlfriends as soon as they did, is such a massive step forward in the normalization of LGBT representation in animation. Furthermore, from this point forward, we get to watch the two of them interact as a couple from their amazing chemistry, adorable little moments, along with overcoming conflicts and getting further development in their relationship. Number 2, The Grom Dance, from Enchanting Grom Fright. This might just be the most iconic moment in the entirety of the Owl House, as this image has been ingrained into the minds of fans ever since its first aired. It is of course the scene where Ruth and Amity fight Grom together while dancing with each other. Enchanting Grom Fright was a major game changer for the series, as up until this episode, me, as well as many other Owl House fans had been shipping Ruth and Amity for a long while. So when it finally aired and confirmed what we were hoping for, it was exhilarating. Yeah, right. You're going soft on me, Blight. <laughs> In your dreams. This scene also begins the Owl House's tradition of the animation quality increasing every time there's a major milestone for Ruth and Amity's relationship. As throughout the fight, the animation is incredibly smooth, the visuals are much cleaner, and the choreography is top notch, making for such a thrilling battle. And the final part where a beautiful cherry blossom tree bursts from Grom is such a gorgeous visual. Plus, the fact that Ruth and Amity are literally dancing together as each other's dates while they're fighting against Grom is such a cute touch. And of course, after the fight, the moment we all been waiting for arrives, as it is revealed that Amity wanted to ask Ruth to be a date for Grom, confirming her crush on her. So, who did you want to ask out? Oh, it's, it's not important. Which indicated that Ruth and Amity were going to become a couple later on in the series. This scene will forever be a historic moment in the show, as it was the beginning of Ruth and Amity's love story. Number 1. First Kiss, from Crowds on the Horizon. This moment was a long time coming, and when it finally came, everyone was elated. The build-up to the scene was perfect. Firstly, there was the fact that Luz and Amity haven't seen each other for a while due to all the events that had been going on during this part of Season 2, which makes their reunion all the more touching. There were also some little details that made the scene even cuter, such as Luz blushing when she sees Amity's silhouette in the window above, adding flowers to the binds she created to get to Amity's room, and finally, taking a breath and fixing her hair before entering. We then get an emotional moment where Amity tears up over not knowing if Ruth is safe or not, but finds comfort in giving a speech she believes Ruth will give to her in this situation, not realizing that she's actually right there, listening to the whole thing. And as soon as Amity is finished, Ruth finally reveals herself, and the two of them run towards each other with tears of joy in their eyes, and then they lovingly embrace each other. It was also adorable how Amity literally leaps into Ruth's arms, and then they do a troll hug. Ruth then promises Amity to take her out on a date, and and Amity responds by doing this. Oh, crikey. Luce and Amity finally have their first full-on kiss, which had melted the hearts of all our house fans. And both of their reactions to the kiss were both adorable and funny. From Amity being stunned at what she just did, to Luce initially just saying crikey, and then getting embarrassed for having said that. What made this scene a big deal is the fact that for a long while, the first kiss between a gay couple in cartoons usually only comes in the finale. So the fact that we got this moment before the last episode was simply incredible. Every Everything about this moment was perfect, from the animation, the music, writing, and voice acting. And with this being their first ever kiss, what better choice is there for the number one Wimity moment? And that was my video of the top 5 Wimity moments in the Owl House. If you enjoyed it, then be sure to give it a like, share, and comment. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, then head over to my Patreon. Well, I got nothing else to say, so see ya.